Hey, all my Leo friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Terry Hunter. I'm an intuitive astrologer, tarot card reader, uh, spiritual teacher, and healer, Reiki master, and lots of things. And it's fun to be all those things. But today, what I'm going to do for you is a love and money tarot card reading for November 2024. Ooh. Sorry, I'm having a little bit of a rough start here. We're just going to let it ride because you know what? We're going with the flow. I am going to do your love reading with the star tarot. I'm going to do your money reading with the gilded tarot. And this is all focused on November 2024. So this is applicable for Leo suns. That's the focus. But it's also good for Leo moon and Leo rising. So let's see where we're going. The first position represents the foundational position. It's what's going on at the time. The second is the opportunity and or the obstacle. One coin, two sides. Every opportunity has an inherent obstacle and every obstacle has an inherent opportunity. We have the third position is the angel's advice for taking advantage of the opportunity or getting around the obstacle. And then the final position is the potential outcome. So let's see where love is taking you this month, Leo. The world is your first card. This is a powerful card of reward. We have the Ace of Pentacles indicating something's coming into the material. We have the Seven of Swords and the Angel's Advice. And then we have the Nine of Cups. This is quite luscious for my Leos. The world is a card where, or what it represents is the fool's journey through the major arcana. And now when it reaches the world, he's really learned how to master the various elements and characteristics of the human experience. So he understands the rules and the boundaries and the limitations of the human dynamic. And at the same time has been able to extract reward Part of this reward for me, Leo, in love feels as if it's coming because you've been a bit independent. You've been a bit, um, you're not listening to the crowd somehow. You must be listening to your inner voice because the Ace of Pentacles <clears throat> is bringing something into your material world that is because of your own independent thought and also a willingness. In this particular deck, we see this stag with this huge these huge antlers representing wisdom and growth. And part of that wisdom and growth has come because the stag is willing to pierce the, the yesteryear. We see in the reflection, there's a younger version of the stag there and the experiences that the stag had at the time, which can haunt, you know, can haunt you. It can make you feel, you know, it's kind of be that thing that goes with you throughout your whole life. But here we have wish fulfillment in the form of the nine of cups. So I want to offer it this way, because if you're currently in a relationship, then the month of November should show quite a bit of progress in the relationship in whatever way you want it to transform. The nine here, we see the five lotus flowers representing the five physical um, senses. They're all lit up. <clears throat> There's an honoring of the heart, which is very Leo. Leo rules the heart and the courage. We see the butterflies representing the transformation as they fly up through uh, the card. And then we see this dove of peace uh, kind of holding dominion over the card and the heart in its mouth and showing that all your cups will be overflowing. So I think overall uh, for love, you will see uh, some kind of progress or reward for your efforts. If you're single, you could start to feel your mojo coming in. If you are in a seasoned relationship, you could find more flow. If you've been going through a challenge, you could find connection or a bridge in some way. Okay, let's go on to your money reading for November, 2024. Now I think this is pretty significant because unlike the love reading, although it can be influenced by outside sources, we are going through a presidential election right now here in the United States and the world's eyes are on that election. And elections uh, historically affect the economy and projections for our abundance moving forward. So let's see what's up for our Leos. We have temperance, which is all about balance. We have the king of pentacles. We have the two of swords. 
And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. This is very much about an attitude about money and about abundance. You know, the world, the universe, the human experience is secular by nature. And in temperance here, we see the two chalices. One is on fire. One is uh, kind of more icy and cold. This to me is representing the duality of experience. Now the soul knows that it is its focus and its mind that draws in the people, the dynamics, the opportunities to to manifest something. So here in your opportunities to be the king of your abundance, to sit on the throne and to trust wholeheartedly that the earth experience supports you. And this is a decision that spirit is asking you to make with your heart, not with your mind. Now, Leo, the heart rules you. Again, you rule the spine and the heart because it's about having courage. So I believe when I see this Knight of Pentacles at the end, that this is about being willing to journey, discover, learn more about yourself as you steadily move towards what you want um, in the way of how you make your resources. I noticed this squirrel up in the branches and squirrels know how to save for a rainy day. They know how to you know, hide their nuts. So I want to say that overall for the month of November, you may be acutely aware of the ebb and the flow of the outside environment. While being aware of that outside environment, it does not dictate how you personally will manifest. So as you choose to be the Lord of the, your material wealth, you will be sent on a journey that will require you to be steady and steadfast as you move towards the things that are bringing you joy while you make money. You know, that the knights are kind of the teenager energy of the deck. And so there's always a, a passion behind them. There's always the exuberance and sort of this feeling of invincibility because teenagers and young people don't, don't feel the, the weariness of age. So here, this is about balance for the month. It's about understanding the ebb and the flow and keeping your eye on the prize of what you want and knowing that the universe will provide the resources, dynamic and people as you focus on that. Okay, that's it for Leo for November. 2024, love and money through the tarot. Again, my name is Terry Hunter. I'm an intuitive astrologer. I'm an intuitive reader. I'm a spiritual teacher and life coach, as well as a healer. Uh, please join me Sunday mornings live at 11 a.m. That's where we do another reading. We use the angel deck. We pull one tarot card and we look at the transits ahead for the next week and we get advice for how to traverse those. In the meantime, hit that notification bell. Please like, please subscribe and share. And I'll be back next month with another tarot card reading for you. Have a lovely November. See you soon, Leo. Bye-bye.